Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to get a uh, fuzzy off of my cloth over here. <gasps> uh, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mysteries. I am doing a reading for this upcoming full moon that's happening in the sign of Aries. Hi, Cancer. How are you doing? I'm just shuffling the cards right now. <sighs> what does Cancer need to know for this full moon in Aries? This is going to be square, you guys, because you guys are cardinal, and so is uh, Aries. And you're already experiencing a square from the sun because it's in cardinal sign of Libra. Ooh, this is the last shuffle because it's coming in hot. Okay. Ooh, very warm. Okay. Let's find out what's going on here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Kind of felt that in my gut a little bit. Okay. We have a Knight of Wands. Uh, wands are fire energy. So f Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we know that this full moon is occurring in the sign of Aries. So... You know, this could be just the energy, or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. But the Knight of Wands is a person who... He's sort of a fly-by-night type of guy. Uh, somebody who comes in and out of your life. Um, you never know if they're going to stick around for very long, perhaps. Uh... This could be, if it's an energy, then it's a, uh, it's an energy of, um, now I feel like I have the motivation and the gumption and the next minute I have lost it. I just lost all my mojo somehow. Okay. Um, but I'm kind of feeling that for a lot of you, this could be a person. We have the Six of Cups here, and Cups is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But Six of Cups can be a card that talks about... Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My kids are being a little rowdy and rambunctious at the moment for some reason. Ugh. Not sure why, but... Uh... Yeah, I had to tell them to to simmer down. <laughs> I just saw three, three, three. Um, and I'm seeing two threes right here as well, okay? And um, I believe three, three, three is uh, make a wish and prayers answered. But yeah, six of cups can be about past life relationships. Sometimes the karma that we have from a past life relationship can manifest in our current life. It doesn't have to be with the same person, right? It can just be the same energy of um, somebody not quite... Because I'm also being drawn to see that, you know, this person is dealing with this devil type character, okay? Okay. Someone who is not quite presenting themselves in a way that reveals the true, I want to say the truth beneath, I don't know. I'm hearing what lies beneath, alright? I don't know if you've seen that movie. It's a movie that is pretty scary, from what I recall. It's got Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer in it. Um, could be relevant. Hope it's not. Um, <laughs> anyway, good movie. But uh, 
yeah, this devil character here. Um, <sighs> Capricorn is associated with uh, the devil card in tarot. And Capricorn is your opposite sign. Cancer, so... <sighs> I'm also getting that this could be something in regards to your workplace, possibly. Even though cups are emotion and can be about a love situation, but I'm really not getting that this is about a love situation. This could be about somebody who is presenting themselves one way to you and then not really being that way. They're not really who they say they are, is what I'm trying to get. And, you know... If this is about a past karmic relationship, this is a lesson that you um, needed to learn because, you know, we all get caught up in the illusions that other people try to portray for us sometimes, you know, even even the most adept psychologists can get fooled by a psychopath. And that's kind of what that, um, what that movie, What Lies Beneath, is about. This, this uh, professor who ends up murdering one of his students that he had an affair with because she was going to expose him. So this professor who everyone thinks is this upstanding righteous moral character turns out to be a psychopath anyway and I am not trying to alarm anybody <laughs> at all I'm just giving an analogy okay it could be something as benign as <sighs> somebody who is passive aggressive and they say that they're going to do something and then they turn around and they do the exact opposite, okay? You know, that happens. Like, say you ask somebody to babysit for you and they say, oh yeah, I, I can do that. And then the day of, you know, they make up an excuse so that they don't have to babysit for you anymore, okay? So yeah, let's, let's try to lighten this up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to go too dark, right? <laughs> and I hope it I hope it's not that dark, honestly. I mean, but here we have uh Temperance card of Sagittarius. But this card is about balance and healing, all right? Sometimes we need certain situations to occur for us in our lives even situations that rub us the wrong way in order to catalyze us into a change that is necessary because the temperance card is about alchemy. So even when things happen to us that seem not, not quite to our benefit, um, Sometimes they're necessary in order to catalyze growth inside of us, Cancer. And I don't know why, but I'm noticing that this person has their pinky up. So, I don't know. Somebody's going to be spilling some tea. That's all I can say about that. Tea is about to be spilled. So, I don't know. I don't know who's going to spill the tea. I don't know if it's going to be you or somebody else, but something is going to be illuminated for you. Something is going to come to light that is going to catalyze some sort of change or growth within you. Whew. Ah. Sleepless nights. Worry, anxiety, little demons gnawing at our back, okay? Some of you could have been gossiped about behind your back and, like, been made to be, like, the butt of somebody's joke, perhaps. And now it's driving you crazy. It's keeping you up at night. 
because you know maybe you have a case of the coulda woulda shouldas but it's really not worth whatever this is it's really not worth losing sleep over cancer because you're going to need all of the rest that you can get so that you can make the best possible decisions going forward all right so, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. It's time to lay this to rest, okay? Let's lay it to rest. Alright, that's all I'm getting for you for this reading. And as always, I am wishing you the very best. I hope you guys have an amazing full moon and Aries experience. I will talk to you later. Bye!